Now let's get into a bunch of tricks. I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna give you a couple beginner tricks, a couple intermediate, and a couple advanced. First trick I want you to try is a pancake. So pancake, I'm gonna kick it up in the air, leave my foot on the ground, while it's actually hitting my toe, and pop it back up. Okay, so the key here is you want to keep your foot flat on the ground. If it's coming to your foot and you're lifting it up like this, it's not going to work. It could work, but that's not a true pancake. The other thing you want to think about is having your body weight over the ball. So if I'm trying to pancake the ball and I'm putting my foot out here, it's just going to get away from me. Okay, so I want my body weight over the ball so I can pop it up. This is going to help you have more control. You can also do a pancake with different parts of your foot. So not just the toe, but the inside or the outside of your foot or even behind the leg like that. Next trick I want you to try is a stall. Now there's a bunch of different ways you can do a stall, but let's start with our feet. So, when you're stalling the ball, you want to make like a cup with your toes and your shin, okay? So the ball's resting right in there. You can try to stall with a straight foot, but that's a little more difficult, okay? To start, you want to try like this, okay? And that's even a good way to start. Really flex your foot, curl your toes, and you can trap it in there. Next all you can try is on your ankle. So you can start juggling the ball, pop it up, you want to trap it right there. Okay, a great way to start might be to do this on the ground, like this. Just work on getting it up here so you feel comfortable with that motion. Okay, once you get that, then you can work on your timing, try to catch it in the air. Next one I want you to try is your knees, between your knees. Okay, so like I just did there, you're popping it up, you're almost trying to jump on it, clap it together with your knees at the same time. Next all I want you to try is on your chest. Okay, so you may not even be able to stall it, it's a bit tough, but try to get it so it sits there. Okay, at least get a little cushion. Tough one to do. If you want 12 weeks of in-depth coaching covering every area of player development, daily follow-along training routines to improve your skills, fitness, and confidence, 12 weeks of professional match analysis, and access to every advanced course I've created in the past, check out the link in the description below. Basically, you want to lean back. Okay, if you're not leaning back enough, you're not going to be able to get it. Cupping it between your backs. Next one you can try is on the back of your neck. So everyone's seen this one before. When I go down, I'm basically trying to cut my shoulder blades together. If I just have a rounded back like this, it's going to be impossible to stall the ball. So you want to cut your shoulder blades, you almost pinch your shoulder blades together so you can make a little pocket. Then obviously you can try a head stall. Okay, a bit more difficult. When I get it up, I'm trying to keep my head in the center of the ball. Wherever the ball goes, I have to move my head to keep it in the center. Okay, so if you feel like you're gonna lose it, don't give up. If it goes over here, you go over there. These are all only gonna come with practice. last beginner trick I want you to try is a milkshake. So a milkshake, I don't know if you call it a milkshake, for some reason, that's what they called it when I was growing up, but basically you're going right foot, right thigh, shoulder, head, shoulder, thigh, left foot. So you've seen this one before, you're juggling, 
with your foot, you kick the ball up and you take your foot around the ball. Okay, the only way this is gonna work is if you try to do both at the same time. What most people do is they try to kick it, then they try to put their foot around and try to get back down. You can't be quick enough. So what you're gonna do instead is almost pick up, pick the ball up at the same time that you're going around the ball. basically where you start. So you need to be able to roll this ball up your leg. Okay, once you roll it up your leg, you're gonna lean forward, you're gonna try to kick the ball with your heel of your other foot. Okay, and then the key is just get it about getting the right weight so it actually goes over your head. But really leaning forward is gonna help you a lot. Roll it up your leg, kick it out with the heel of your other foot over your head. getting into the advanced tricks. These are very difficult, so if you can't get them right away, please do not be frustrated. If one, because no one wants to be frustrated, I don't want you to be frustrated. And two, getting frustrated is not gonna get you any better. It's not gonna help you learn the skill. Okay, so just stay calm, keep analyzing, keep trying different things, eventually it'll come. So the first of the advanced tricks that I wanna to talk to you about is a hop the world. So we did it around the world before. This time you need to hop the world. So I'm doing the same motion, except I'm gonna jump over the ball and hit it with that foot on the other side. It's a bit difficult to explain, a little easier to see. your leg like this. As soon as that ball comes from here, we're going to go around it, kick the ball up. Okay, so it's a heel touch behind the leg as well as an around the world. Keep the ball up. Again, a two-part move. So you remember the pancake? This time you're gonna pancake and you're gonna go over the ball, but we're gonna spin and try to hit the ball with my heel. You see what I mean? Okay, so with the heel of my same foot, I'm gonna spin and I'm gonna hit the ball. Try it again. There are a bunch of tricks that you can practice on your own. If you wanted to take 10 minutes a day and just work on these tricks, yes, they will improve your technical skill. 